we're back with some more Skyrim. Um, I did go ahead and just change up our armor. We're gonna just stick with what we what was best, which is the dwarven light gear. Uh, so we need to continue making our way to Iverstead, which I think we can cross here and walk up. So that's what we'll go ahead and do. Last episode we helped out, I think his name's Stalio. Not too sure. Um, but yeah, now we're getting back on the road. Is that a skeever? It is. I don't like skeevers. Not after how they effed me up in the first episode. Well, that one that snuck up on me. Or didn't really sneak up on me. It was just hiding behind a bush that I walked through and then it slaughtered me like I was nothing. But it's fine. And I hear another one. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, cool. What is this? Some type of cave. Or a ruin of some sort. Engarvli... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Addresses. No thanks. Speech increased. Okay, can I... I can make fish oil. What is fish oil good for? It's going to help me with my fat back or something. Um, okay, and I do know there's like a bandit camp right here, so we need to be very careful. Um, but yeah, we are not going to do wield right now. We're just going to do, oh shit. We're just going to do, you know, sword and shield, um, which again is rarely something I do. I'm usually a two-handed heavy armor type of character, always. Even when I start a build, I'm like, okay, here's what we're going to do. And then it ends up being something completely different. What is this? Statue of Xarxes. Oh. I have a, a Winter Sun mod on and then like Daedric Shrines and stuff. So if at any point I want to, I can, you know, start praying to a deity and stuff like that. Oh, these are bandits. Guaranteed. I don't want to take them on because I'll die. Because I'm such a low level. But it's fine. We're going to hit Iverstead. We're going to see if there's something we can do there. They might have a, a missives board or a notice board or something. Give us some work. Let's see, what is this? Oh shit. Okay. Oh. I'm out of stamina. Okay, that was not very fun. Need to go around these guys again. I have to try to avoid that spider because spiders are tough. Which sucks because I love killing spiders. Let me see. Can I see the spider from back here? Maybe I can shoot it up. Oh, I do see a spider over there. Way over there, though. We should be fine. Which way to... So I need to... Go, I have to go left. Where the spider is. Butter my biscuits, dude. Butter my biscuits. I missed. Oh shit. The 
The spider's pretty tough at a... Uh, what level are we? Like level six? Let's go... Imperial bow. The other bow is running out. We've got wash and rinse on. Okay. Oh, here's another thing we can do, honestly. I'll do it on camera. If I left click, right click this, and I use it, I can go to mod configuration. And I could set up smart cast. Which then means healing. Once health is less than, let's do less than 90%, it'll start healing us up. So, that'll be good to have, honestly. I meant to do that before I even started the playthrough, but I forgot, and then I kept forgetting. He sees me. Please bleed and die. Oh shit. Oh, I don't like their person archery. Yeah, that's weird. My mouse sensitivity is so high. Okay. Okay, we should be good. I quick saved, so if anything happens, we'll be. Back to before the uh, spider, or after the spider. What is going on up here? Please be friendly. Okay, I can take some low level wolves. Oh shit, there's three of them. See, I set it so low to, what, 90% health because it's a bit of a delay, honestly. So if I set it to like 50, by the time it starts to heal me, I'm already being killed. And I might even change it up to 95%. Let me see. Oh, I know what this is. This is Immersive Encounters, I believe. Eh, hey, you eagerly dog. Give, give me your stuff. Oh, I'll roast you uh, back off now before you'll beg me for mercy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to help you. You're a wizard. I need to do this. I need to get them supplies with me. So please don't kill us. I won't. Okay. Beautiful. Just wolves everywhere, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, I gotta work on my stamina. Let's see, stamina. Is there a, like, magic or a spell for, um, stamina? Like, stamina regeneration? Because that would be a good one to get. And then I'll put smart cast for that, too. Let's see, let's discover this location. Beautiful, no bears. I'm stuck. Okay. Here is Irishstead. I do have, you know, tons of uh, mods on that affect towns and stuff. I don't think a single town is vanilla. If I'm being honest. Guards? Holy shit, he was right behind me. I heard his footsteps. I save after the bear. Or the wolf, okay. Yeah, we need to... Let's level up. Let's do stamina. We've got two points available. Let's see, is that bear going to be in the same spot? I think so, because that's a dead elk. Oh, 
the bears under the bridge. I wonder if he's gonna be collecting his holes. Get it? Like a like a troll under the bridge. Goodbye, good sir. I don't know what level you are. Should I even try? Feral cave bear. Oh yeah, we messed up. I keep meaning to save after the the cave. Let's see. Uh, that's all this early Skyrim adventure is going to be. It's just death after death after death. Okay, now the bear is sleeping over there. Let's run around it. Oh, he woke up. He woke up. First dead discovered. And let's go ahead and level up now. Beautiful. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check the inn. Here he is. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. You're a good friend. Here, take this. You'll like it. Um, last episode I talked about making my own followers, and here is the first one. Ah, good to see you again. Let's not waste any time. They've got like no like special quests or any dialogue or let's get going. Anything like that, but you know. Sure thing. I started him with a steel great sword and I gave him two hundred and fifty iron arrows and then they all followers start with um, a hunting bow. But this armor is from another mod. My plan is if you've ever seen the ESO like cinematic trailers that they do for, you know, other scrolls online, there's this guy, there's the Breton Knight. And then there's the the female elf in the super cool armor. I'm going to try to recreate. I'm going to try to create followers using all three of those armors. So this is the first one. He's an older Nord, uh, heavy armor, two-handed. Uh, he is. He takes after Vilkus. That's his, you know, model. Not his model. His like skills and stuff like that. Um, so he fights the same way Vilkus would fight. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah. Um, he is set to... He starts at level 10. So, he'll always be level 10 no matter what. Um, so, if you get him at level 1, he'll start off at level 10. If you get him at level 9... He's level 10. And since we are level 10 now, I figured now's a good time to get him. Um, so we did. One-handed. Uh, One-handed. Let's do that. Um, and then... Oops. Okay. What was this one? This was the one attack. Okay. Uh, so now he'll level with us all the way up to level 261. Max level is 81, but I know there's like, I think there used to be ways around it. You lost. Um, so yeah. And if you're using follower combat, follower commentary overhaul, your vanilla, the followers you make can use any of these voice types and they'll, you know, be, they'll talk more frequently. I have the frequency set to 10%. We'll change it to 15 and throughout the playthrough. We will hear him, you know, say more random dialogue and stuff like that. Uh, there seems to be no... No, um... Missives board here. So that sucks. Uh, I guess we're gonna keep going. I tried to set the Steel Grace or to where nobody can take it like it's his. But it didn't seem to work. Um, we're gonna quick save. I don't know where the bear is. Kind of scares me. Oh, let's put a point into restoration. That way I can heal up. Or do less magicka. 
Cast Restoration Spells for 0.5% healing, 7 per second. And then as we level up, that will drop. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, I just love that armor. Uh, it's in this game. It has its own separate mod, but, you know, I combine them together for that. Um, I can... I can find some myself, but I probably won't use it just because we are a light armor character currently. Let's see, and I kind of want it to be like his armor. Like, he doesn't wear anything but that. So I need to figure out how to set it to where he doesn't wear anything other than that Nord heavy armor. Um, and all of my followers... Whoa, shit will not affect stealth so you can use them and sneak sneak around and stuff they're essential um i kind of want to fight this bear to see my game did freeze when we were up there talking about the bear again i could fight the bear um so i'll just talk about this guy a little bit i did make him taller <laughs> way taller than your normal vanilla uh nord um my plan is to have him, you know, he's kind of like a descendant of that Nord from the ESO cinematic trailers. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're gonna die. So, yeah, my plan is to kind of make him like a descendant of that big Nord from Elder Scrolls Online. Um, and then same with the other two. I'm going to make a female follower that wears like the alt armor. Um, and then a, a male, another male ranger type to wear the uh, the ranger Breton armor is what it's called. Um, so my issue is we're not going to be able to fight those bears. They're pretty tough. Um... Shit, maybe we should run to the Imperial camp over here. Um, but the really, he works since it's on like the vanilla framework, follower framework, it'll work with um, like amazing follower tweaks and stuff like that. Which I personally don't use any of those types of mod mods that you know change um, how many followers you can have and stuff like that. So, um the shitty thing is going to be I can only have one of them at a time. So I won't be able to have him, the female I make, or the and the other male at the same time. My plan is to make a follower um, for each race, really. Just because I feel like there's not a lot of followers of variety. Okay, the big bear is going to be an issue. Yeah, I guess the big bear isn't going to be an issue. It's just all, all of the bears that are going to be an issue. Um, but yeah. The way the follower commentary mod works with them. It makes it to where any Skyrim NPC that uses that voice type. Which is called the the male Nord Brute. Um, it like splices them all together. So he'll say something that Farkas would normally say. And then he'll say something like... Stenvar would normally say, you know, it just splices them all into one thing and then he'll just, you know, talk. It's better than like the vanilla followers, you know, because they, without following follower commentary overhaul, there's just not much dialogue between vanilla followers. But yeah, as I was saying, these guys can't be uh, used more than, I mean, you can't have more than one. That bear's level 16. Um, you can only use Tyrek, and then you can use like a custom follower, like Inigo or Lucian or something. But you can't use all of my followers at one time, unless you have like amazing follower tweaks or something like that. Where's the big one? There's so many of them. Where 
get the big one, yo. Where'd you go, buddy? I don't wanna... Okay, I see another one up there. Let's just go this way. Um, and then, I think last time before I died, it set up on the top left. Tyrek needs some help. I am using Jay Serpa's follower death and injury chance mod. Um, makes it where, you know, like it says, there's a chance your followers get injured and or die. Um, God, there's so many bears here. My followers won't be able to die. But they can get injuries. Which will, you know... He'll have like a mask on his face. Or uh, like an eye blind thing. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, stuff like that. I don't think they can die anyways. I haven't really tried it out. See, Tyrek needs some help. I don't... We'll find out if he can die. It'll say. It'll show me a big giant message. If he does die. But he shouldn't be able to, so we, we should be good. Um, doesn't affect your sneak, you know, stuff like that. So pretty, they make for pretty good followers if you're trying to do like a a sneaky type. Ooh, real soldiers. Nice. Careful, there's a horde of bears up there, bro. Let's go ahead and quick save again. Perfect. I like that hide helmet with like the horns and stuff. Let's see. But yeah, I kind of want to make followers for every... Oh shit. For every, um... Gender? Gender? Yeah, gender and race, honestly. So like... Um... An orc male and a female. A norm male and a female. 364. Yeah, we'll just keep going. It'll be fun. You know, nothing too crazy. I'd love to voice my own character mod one day, but uh, that is something that I have no clue how to do. I mean, I know how to voice them and set it up. I just don't know how to do the um, like scripts, like them quests and stuff. Who are you? You're a hunter. Nice. Okay. Not what to do. Let's put the shield away. No, let's not. Let's have it at the ready. So when I pull my sword out, he should. No, he doesn't teleport to me. Okay, that's fine. Um, I would like to make a spell to where the we could summon the followers, but I also don't know how to do that. So that might be a little tough. Let's see. Come on. Discover this location. Ooh, we're coming up on the standing stones too. So we might be able to get our first stone. I want to get the steed stone. But I think that's all the way up in solitude. Mark Arth area. I know what's in there. We'll probably stop off at Helgen, see if we can trade off some of this gear. Maybe Tyrek will catch up to us there. We told him we were going there, so he knows where to meet us. Helgen. Never been to Helgen before. Never in my entire nine lives. And I see smoke. Um, that can be good. Whoa. What in tarnation? Oh my god, Tarek, you scared me. Okay. So that was a reptile. Okay, nice, weird, but nice. Um, yeah, so 
That's uh, this is live another live another life. Tarek is a little beat up. Nice. Uh, normally the armor is not black, but I installed a retexture mod that makes it black. Cause I think normally it's like brown, right, or something like that. Okay, we're gonna quick save. Uh, the name Tyrek is a name I came up with. I think I've seen it somewhere, but it's always been my like go-to Nord name. Like when I first got Skyrim on the PlayStation Three, that was the name I used for my very first character, Tyrek, and I played the shit out of that character. I beat the game before all the DLCs came out, and then the DLCs came out, and I played Dawnguard. I don't remember. I don't think I ever. Played Dragonborn with that character. I think it was, you know, I had regular where I only bought one of them at a time. So I think I only ended up getting the Hearthfire and Dawn Guard because I like vampires and stuff. Okay, I know where we're at. I was lost for a second. But now I'm found. Do I have any poison? I do. Let's do frostbite venom. Yeah, no way you guys saw me. Get shit on. Oh, I just realized the trees are, like, rocking around in the wind. That's gotta be racist. Use your sword, good sir. See, so he's level 10. He levels with us once he hits level 10. So once we're 11, he's 11. But before... We are level 10. He just stays level 10. Cyrodiilic Silver Dagger. I like that. I like the Cyrodiilic Silver stuff. No, I didn't want the... Oh, shit, goblins. I've had enough of you. Oh, yeah. You're strong. Done. Oh, there's another one. See, so, like, Tyrant, he's not strong by any means. He's not going to, like, give you, make you unstoppable unless you get him before level 10. Um, which I would definitely, if you want an easy beginning, then yeah, I would definitely get him as soon as you can. But if you want to, like, you know. Oh, oh, no. <gasps> oh, that was luck. I don't really know where I want... It took me a while to figure out where I wanted to spawn him, honestly. Like, have him come in at. We've stopped. What is it? Can I... What do you need? Give you stuff to wear. And his carry wit's 300. I like that mod. Can you wear that? Okay, so he will wear that. I need to make it to where he does not wear stuff, honestly. Hmm. So he won't wear the other helmet, though. We should keep moving. So the only way I can think of stopping him from wearing gear I give Stay him safe. is by making the Nord armor on him stronger hmm don't really know how to do that though yeah I'll have to look into it but first we definitely need to hit Ooh, Riverwood 
which I believe it's this way. Riverwood, yes. We know where it's at, but Rasha doesn't. Let's go ahead and pull out our sword and shield, have them at the ready. And here's the standing stone. I think we'll probably pick warrior to start with. That way, you gain additional experience in warrior skills. Wait, those under the sign of warrior inflict more damage with power attacks and long range shots. They gain additional experience in all warrior skills. Oh, so I think I have a standing stone mod on. Okay. And then here is the chest of the armor. I don't think... Oh, yeah. The helmet is not beast race supported. So the helmet, kind of, that kind of sucks. But, oh, and neither are the gauntlets. So that kind of sucks. Okay. So, yeah. That's where to find the ESO Nord armor. Let's see. I usually play with like the the physics on to where like that cape will bounce around, but uh Well what happened here? But um It's time to die, cat. I think that HDT or all that stuff is currently broken. Okay, I got stuck on the rock. Tyrek, where you at, Tyrek? She's got a two-handed weapon. We're kind of weak right now. Oh, yeah, we suck. Smart cast healing, but we're not healing. There we are. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming that's Tyrek. Beautiful, she's injured. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna sell off. Bunch of lonely bandits, cowards who will take little effort. Beautiful. So let's hurry up and get up over to Riverwood. Let's actually take this armor off too. Looks good, but not on a Khajiit. I feel like it's like a an orcish or a nord oh he's injured that's what it is yeah when they get injured with the j serpa's injured mod they'll like fall over and stumble and smack the ground and stuff it's kind of funny so like if he starts sprinting he's gonna fall yeah which kind of sucks because we need him right now But you, I like. Oh, no. I said, because that's a Arcus line for sure. Good shit. So I really just need to figure out where I want to put the other two followers. The other two that are going to be like related to. The guys from the cinematic ESO trailers. Let's see. So it should be getting close. We shouldn't have any more distractions. This episode has been just lots of death. Riverwood discovered. Let's talk to the blacksmith. What? Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Uh, dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. What? A dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. No, the dragon flew out this way. You must have seen it. You're right. I saw it. Didn't want to believe my own eyes. A dragon here in Skyrim. 
What's this world coming to? First the war, now the dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Uh, how do we get to Whiterun, though? Cross the river and then head north. And there is you'll still see it just Skyrim past the fall. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. That is near when Whiterun, you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach. The Jarl's Palace. Okay. Beautiful. I Okay, so I think we're going to end this one here. I'm going to go through and sell off some stuff. Um, and I'm going to play around with Tyrek in the creation kit. I'm going to set it to where he doesn't equip other armors, honestly. Because I want him to, you know, mainly only use the ESO Nord stuff. And we'll probably sell our cop our version of the, carry, uh, or the ESO Nord armor. Because I kind of want it to be like character specific i guess i want it to belong to my characters my followers i don't want there to be like copies out in the world um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and end this one here um it's a little boring lots of death but hopefully next time we can pick up some work for somebody from people here in riverwood um and yeah i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching